Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue the introduction to Excel 2016 for this. So we talked about the basic building blocks of an Excel workbook. Those are the sheets and the cells. And the sheets have names, as we see here, sheet one, two, three. And each cell also has a name. So this one, this cell here is called A1. This one up here is called C1. These things up here are called columns and these are called rows. So a cell is at, an in, at the intersection between a column and a row, just as on a chessboard. And the selection is the box that shows which cell I'm working in. You can also, of course, select multiple cells and as you see, the name box then indicates the first cell that I've selected here. And I selected multiple cells by just holding down the mouse key and just dragging over an area. I can of course do the same by holding down the shift key on my keyboard and tapping the right key on my keyboard and the down one. Here I select a range. And that's also a rather important word, the range. That's an area of cells. So that's the selection and the range. Next thing that I want to show you is how much space in an Excel worksheet. A worksheet or a sheet is part of a workbook, as we mentioned before. As you see, one row here, and it continues. If I scroll down, you'll notice that it just keeps going. The quickest way to get to the end here, I can keep scrolling all day, but that will get boring for everybody rather quickly. The best way to get to the end is hold down the control key on your keyboard and press down, and we'll get to the very end of this sheet. And here you'll notice that I'm at 1,048,576 rows. So there's plenty of space to keep all of your numeric data in there. And if you have more than a million rows, well, we'll get to that in uh, more advanced sections. But there's plenty of space. You can always use more sheets, of course, but 1,048,000 rows, roughly. And to get to the other end of the spectrum here, or rather the furthermost right column, I'll do the same thing, but I'll hold down the control and press the right key, and that will get me to the XFD which should probably be 16,000 columns. I think that's the correct number. So we have plenty of space, and now I'm gonna spend the rest of the day scrolling back. I'm gonna use the Control and Home uh, key on my keyboard again to get to the very top, and here I'm back at the A1 cell again. And of course, each and every one of these sheets has the same number of columns and rows. So there's plenty of space for all your information.